it is a racing machine. So the bigger it is, the more water you have to move to the other side of the pool. So you want it as small and claustrophobic as possible. Talk so me through what you've got inside. The pilot's got three main things to think about. He's got one control that's turning the tail. So we've got a rotating tail at the back. He's got one control to try and go up and down, which is, which is fins on the side. And then he's got the other control for the brakes. Left, right, up, down, Left, right, up, stop. down, and stop. And what makes you go? It's a pedaled <laughs> submarine, so it's human powered. It's like an underwater bicycle. So you're pedaling as well. So you're well. pedaling, that, that's a side note. <laughs> <laughs> Pedal as hard as you can. <laughs> Our tail moves side to side like the leather jacket. And we have the fins for propulsion at top and bottom. Not like leather jacket fins, but arranged like leather jacket fins. Two years ago, we learned not to, to try and copy a fish too closely. They have their pectoral fins towards the front. We found that having our dive planes in the place of pectoral fins better towards the back of the, the submarine, it's more stable that way, it means that when, you, when it noses up, the dive planes naturally at the back, they try to bring it back to straight and level again. So do you think a sub like this will have any future practical applications. I mean, it's obviously fun to go and race it. Has, has it got bigger applications than that? Anything to get humans in the water, I think, is a worthwhile endeavor. Perhaps we could improve the whole application of fin-like propulsors for underwater submersibles in general. I'm hoping that that would be a nice outcome.